the age timetable. In this short video, we'll share some tricks to help us memorize the age timetable and we'll make use of this box full of cubes to visualize them. So as the name suggests, age timetable means that we're doing the same thing eight times. So if I put my hand in this box eight times and get one cube each time, I'll end up with eight cubes in total. And that's how it looks like. So one times eight or eight times one. So I do this eight times, get one each time, and I end up with eight cubes in total. Now, if I do the same thing, but get out two cubes each time, I'll end up with 16 in total. So eight times, two each time. Three times, 24. Four times, 32. So you can see the pattern, eight, six, four, two. So the next one is gonna be zero. And we're going zero, one, two, three, four. So we've got 40 so far. Now, we've got eight times six. So we're going back to the eight that we started with. Now, that means we add an eight on top of the 40. So that's gonna remain a four again. That's the only point where it remains a four again. And it comes to eight times 10, it's gonna remain the same number. We'll have a look. So we've got eight, now we're gonna to go to six. So we add in on, just like we did here, zero, one, two, three, four. We kept four here, so we're gonna to go to five. So eight times seven is 56. Eight times eight, so we're going eight, six, four. That's gonna be two, zero, and so on. So we go five, six, seven, eight. So eight times eight is 64. Eight times nine is 72. Eight times 10 is 80. And we know this already. And eight times 11 is 88. So adding on another eight. So this is another point. We had it with a four. So multiplied by five, we can the tens digit the same for the five and the six. So we'll do the same for 10 and 11. So we've gone to the eight. Now, if we add another eight, that's gonna become 16. So add in one, over here that makes it nine so we have 96 but you could use other strategies for this so you could break down the 12 into 10 and 2 so 10 times 8 is 80 and 2 times 8 is 16 adding them together it gives us 96 same thing with the 11 you could break it down into 10 and 1 so 80 and 8 gives us 88 but you could also break down the 8 instead because we know that 8 times 12 is the same as 12 times 8. So if I break down the 8 into 4 and 4, so 4 times 12 is 48, 4 times 10 is 40, 4 times 2 is 8, so that makes 48, and another 48, that gives us 96 in total. So this is a really important rule that can be applied throughout multiplication. Eight can be broken down into two and two and two and two, for example. So if we do for eight times four, I can break this down into two, two rows of four, another two rows of four, another two rows of four, and a final two rows of four. So that's two times four, which gives us eight. So there's gonna be another two rows of four, which gives us eight. 
and eight and eight. These two together make 16. So this must make 16 as well, which both of them make 32. So eight times four makes 32. You could also use the rule of adding on or taking away eight. So if I know that eight times five is 40, to work out eight times six, I just add on another eight. Or if I know that eight times 10 is 80, just take away a lot of eight and it's gonna give me eight times nine. So I suggest that you write these facts on a piece of paper and read them out loud a number of times till you feel confident that you know them all by heart in order first.